eight the unheard tapes included in, in moving new documentary. Frequently, the HIV AIDS crisis is discussed solely in terms of the US crisis and former President Reagan's reaction. This week, BBC released a documentary series about the AIDS crisis in the United Kingdom. The show focuses on a series of recordings of men who lived through the crisis as they discuss their struggles, fears, and dealing with the stigma. AIDS, the unheard tapes, is available on BBC Two or on a BBC iPlayer. Watch this. My first thought was that it was um, a manufactured disease. In the 80s, researchers interviewed people living through the AIDS crisis. How can anything just affect gay men? This is their story. I actually thought I was the only person who was like this young with this disease. The Lost Voices, AIDS, the unheard tapes. Next, we report on our partnership. No, 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 no we didn't get to talk about it. Let's talk about it. I'll see y'all later. I'm waiting That's for it. Dr. Wu to say something about it. <laughs> yeah, let's I don't talk want to talk about, about it. it. <laughs> oh, wait, I don't have anything super insightful outside of that looks amazing. I'm really excited to see it. And I have one of the one of the really important things about HIV AIDS, right, is that uh, like we talk about coronavirus, we're talking about different pandemics. Is how important that we understand that pandemics, of course, are global mm -hmm. and that they, you know, they cross borders and they cross. And it's we do focus too heavily on the United yeah. States, um, it's a, yeah. since it's a Latino takeover, I'd love to see more on the work in Latin America and the Caribbean. <laughs> um, but I, one of the great things, too, that I, 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 uh, I love about this show is I didn't know about this documentary, and I now can't I wait to, to watch but it. But these are tapes that were in a, in a library right. in, the, in the UK right. that were, you know, basically made into a documentary recently. They were right. sitting there for years. Wow. You know, we just, like, didn't know. Yeah, I mean, they, they were just sitting there. Nobody made, you know, made an effort to put them into a documentary. I think... You guys saw It's a Sin yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. on HBO last year. Yeah, you year, should watch it. Which is an amazing, yeah. amazing, with Ollie Alexander, amazing yeah. uh, series, yeah. right? Yeah. And it basically, it opens our eyes here in the U.S. I, I, I arrived here when the AIDS crisis mm. was hitting America big time in the, you know, late 80s, mid 90s, you know, when things were really, really serious. And I work in HIV research back mm -hmm. in that time. So you always get the America perspective, right? We are used to watch this on TV, different documentaries. We are, unfortunately, you know, because of the issues at the time, act up yeah. the Reagan policies and, you know, the things that we had to fight, the FDA to get, you know, all these drugs approved. You think that, you know, this is an American phenomenon, but it's not. Of course. It's you know, the, the British were yeah. going through it. I saw a documentary recently during the film festival in Miami, our film festival, from the Brazilian point of mm. view, which is something that is very refreshing. They were mm. going through the same, the same mm. issues at the same scale as we were going through here, but we don't see their point of view. Yeah. You see, this yeah, is an true. important, it's important. And even a country as wealthy and as, van as advanced as the UK was struggling. Yeah. You see it in it, it's a scene. There is a, 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 a scene in the series in the beginning with one of them basically has to travel. He was infected with HIV. He couldn't find anything in the, in the, in the health system in London, even in London, and he travels to New York to get pamphlets that were actually describing ACT mm -hmm. way back when. And he wow. took it back to London and gave it to his friends. And they started discussing that that's how they, even in the UK, I mean, this is the UK, probably, you know, almost at the same level as the American health system. Imagine in Brazil or in Cuba. Or Cuba. Or, Cuba, or yeah, in Venezuela. Cuba, they would, they would put them in hospitals and just let them die that's away and keep them away from the general population. They did gay, that in Puerto Rico, They called too. it gay cancer. Yeah, they yeah. just... I think, I think this is a, a cool... Uh, documenting and it's definitely it's a great point uh, that we should we should really see and, and and learn about you know other countries and what they went yeah. through because it's yeah. going to be a lot more shocking uh, than we think it's also going to make a lot of people feel less alone and when you, when, when you see not just a single experience a good point. and when you see that we're going now through you know something that you know hopefully will not get to that scale but right. monkeypox you know that, <laughs> that you see monkeypox being addressed also yes. in terms of how 
is affecting the gay community. You know, this is what happened back in the in the eighties, in the mid eighties, when the AIDS crisis came about, and they started calling the gay plague. Yeah. You know, and obviously monkeypox can you know attack to uh, give it to anyone. So, but it's is spreading you know in our community. We have to be aware of these things and hopefully prevent another situation of what we had in the mid 80s and early 90s with AIDS in our community. I also, it's just as you said that, it reminded me, and this is such a nerdy thing to say, but I'm going to say it again because I feel like it's so important. Um, but I also, to talk to people, that is, as we think about, um, it's now four decades, right? And of course, AIDS is not over. And one of the things that we, we often, generation, we've, lo we've lost so many people already, but there's still a lot of people around who have stories to tell. Um, for so long, the field of history, for example, didn't see AIDS as, as, as something worth studying because it was for a thousand reasons, but also it felt like a recent, you know, too recent and mm -hmm. not too ongoing. But we are, we're losing people all the time who have really incredible and important stories that haven't been recorded, who's, you know, who otherwise would be erased from our textbooks, like the Don't Say, that is like, there's so many efforts to erase us, we can't erase us, mm -hmm. right? Like, we need yeah. to make sure that well, we so. get people's voices. It's also good that they're putting all this stuff out there because it's not taught in history right. books. It's not even mentioned. Like right. thousands of hundreds That's of thousands crazy. of people yeah. are dying, That's crazy to me. and during this time, and a huge marginalized community is going through this, so much pain. That's right. And but it's just you won't even learn about it. Not you didn't live the eighties or the nineties. You were not alive. Uh, uh, I, not alive. No, I very much was not alive. No, it should so, still be taught. Right. I should so, still. Right, it right, needs right? to be taught. It needs to like, be taught. Luckily, like I see all these things through personal research, but there's some people out there who. Don't go. No. These are things that we can compare them to, and there, there, there are ways that we can avoid monkeypox because we learned yeah. from the AIDS epidemic. Yeah. Even COVID, we could have, yeah. you know, we could have used that to learn. Yeah. So let's learn from our mistakes and keep teaching each other these things. Yeah. Let's move Absolutely. on. DJ. Well, you know, uh, and just one little final note in regards to that documentary, I will say this. You have to give credit to the technology mm. because we didn't have the technology That's right. back then That's a good point. to be able to transfer all of this very vital, important information. I'm an audio engineer and I also work with podcasting. Mm. We need more people to step up and keep talking keep telling the stories so that the ones behind us can continue to learn and progress lgbtq plus news is vital for our community and for the broader world as a whole we have enough enemies at fox news tucker sean and lara are loud we need passionate allies happening out television network queer news tonight and it's happening out are literally out of the closet and into the headlines our community needs your support like this broadcast and subscribe now to ensure the growth of the entire LGBTQ plus community.